I was kept in the dark a lot about her situation. My nan was, she never really spoke about it around us. It was a sensitive topic to my nan and I could see that. You know, like I can't imagine losing my child and not finding the body. So losing it and put it, laying them to rest is different. But she lost her daughter and never found her, so I couldn't imagine what she was going through. But she was a lovely person. She had a kind heart. I think her um, daughter would have really loved her. She was a strong lady. That's why we were saying that it had to be, you know, men or something to do what they done to. Suddenly it really dawned on me. I thought, well, you know, this is a girl that hasn't just gone missing. You know, this, is, this, this is a girl that uh, in high probability has been murdered. I think there was a shed just in here somewhere, and then an orchard. So when you came here with your grandparents, mm -hmm. you didn't know what was going on? They didn't tell you anything about? No, so they'd go and talk and I'd just linger around and play around in the background. My grandfather used to go through drains to look for my mum. I remember him being in this drain just with his hands and like, you know, trying to drag through the ground to try and feel what he could in the sloshy, yucky drain. There were numerous drains and rivers and pits that they searched. That's what I was saying to all my kids, they would have loved that auntie. Because she was a kind person, eh, Judy? She'll give, she'll give anything she had, she'll give her last, her last money that she had. Like, if you wanted it, she'll give it to you. You know, that's what I was saying to the, the boys, they, they would have really lo loved the auntie. I just remember people showing up all the time to talk to my grandparents about her not coming home. My nan was the one that struggled the most, you know, she was devastated. You can tell she was heartbroken, you know. Um, she'd have moments, like on my mum's birthday, I would walk in the kitchen and she would look out the window and be like, happy birthday, Jude. Judy had had a, had a pretty tough life and, you know, and I just knew that, hey, this girl with all her struggles in life, you know, she was a bloody good mother and, you know, and some, someone has, you know, has taken her away from her children and, and from her, her mum and dad. There's little things that I remember but not special things. Um, I don't know, just certain perfumes I smell remind me of her. Um, but you know, no real memories. Because I don't remember or I didn't know her, I, I can't miss or feel sad about something that I don't know, if that makes sense. Sometimes I have moments where I'd feel sad for my baby as well. Like, you know, she doesn't get to know her grandmother, you know, so I feel sad for her in that way. <laughs> 